Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Genshin Impact. We're not live, last couple parts have all been live, but today is mostly just going to be, well, this is going to be like a piecemeal part. After this, I'm going to basically be like chipping away at this event over the next little bit, but uh, the new part of our event is here. First thing we have is we do have some more of each of the different games, including another sky running one. So let's go check that out. It's way out in the sea here. Where is the quickest warp? I guess it's this. So let's go check out all these new things. I have been warned about one thing. And that is Hu Tao's rapping. Um, Uh-oh. We'll see how that goes. I'm terrified. I've not actually watched it. But I've heard... I've heard tale of... This had rhyme important. so bad, you'll you'll actually be take physical damage from it. Um, let's hope that's not the case, right? Let's hope. Hey, I like you. You have a cool design. There you, are. you have a design too good for a single like one-off enemy. If I'm gonna be honest, like if I'm being really real, how can you have such a good design? and just be a single character like 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 not even a single character but just a uh, a mob right i just i don't get it 10 out of 10 design all right so we've killed you what do you drop what do you drop what do you drop yes give me those that's good that's good anyways let's uh go head on out here let's go do it man See what is out in the ocean. Oh, there's a little shrine over there. I'm going to see if that has a little island. Seems to. Is it here? I think it's here. I'm going to put a star there. Right? Because it's that way? Yeah, okay. okay. And there's the thing. Cool. So, let's go check her out. Now that I know how to quickly do this right see the i i know the actual thing to to, to go fast with it because it's different than just conserving you gotta you got what is that there's a boat out there where's that boat is it like over here is it in the harbor seems to be just off harbor huh Hmm. Well, we'll just start this first. Maybe we'll check that out after. Alright. Okay. Dash. 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 Okay. Dash. 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 Jump. Okay forward. I didn't need to dash there, actually. Dash. Uh, dash. Okay, up. Get it. Dash. Slam. Okay. Now we're gonna go dash. 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 Okay. I think we got them all so far. I think, at least. Okay. Slam. Okay. Dash. Dash, run, jump, okay, forward, dash, okay, dash, okay, dash, now we go up, and now we go, oh, we did it, did we get them all? Yes, perfect, we did it, and now we can exit, where's this boat? There it is, it's over there. Why is it so fancy? What's up with that? First off, let's climb on this boat. Does this have geometry? That it does. Good. Which makes me think that the one out there will have geometry too. So let's go... Up. Up. Is it moving? No, I don't think it is. Um... We got one of these? Okay. 
We got all three of those. Very nice. Nice. And when does this unlock? 21 hours. Okay, good. So we'll be able to get that tomorrow. So we got some more of these, though. Okay. Good, 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 good. But for now, I still want to check out what the heck that is. Squall and Fury. Will I be able to get there? Ooh. Ooh, actually, wait. No, you know what? We need to go... I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to climb up the side mountain there. Because I'm really curious. And yes, it's digging into time that we can use for the event, but at the same time, who cares? Also, I did not do most of these uh, quests here. The, the daily commissions. It's fine. It's fine. I'm too busy playing my gosh dang event. Okay, so let's start by climbing here. Okay, and we're going to climb. All right. Grab this over here, too. Thank you. Those geos are very useful, so. Maybe we can get up here. Alright, so let's look for this boat. Too slow. Okay, so we're out in the harbor here. I think it's gonna be over here. It looks casino y to me. Is this going to be a secret casino? Oh, oh, I'm approaching the danger zone. The Dangnar zone, but we're fine. If I just keep going here. Right, it's gonna blink for a bit, but we will We'll be we'll be fine. Yeah, see, see, we're good, we're good, we're good. That will definitely be easier to get to it from here. Let's see. It really still doesn't like us here, but we're not going past the line. So we're good. Right? So we're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can defs get it from here. There's also probably going to be something down here. Quit following me. Right? Let's see. Behold. I'll just go here first. I'm shocked I'm not getting the little pop-up for uh, an item or something. Is that a sumo ring on it? I might be wrong. That looks like a... These look like sumo rings. Huh. Okay, let's see. What is this? Oh. Oh. -ho. Oh, I see that there. So we are so we are supposed to be able to get here. That's good. Is it going to say what this is when I land on it? Okay, hold up. Wait, is that by when? The Pearl Galley. Heavens, you couldn't possibly be bored in such a manner. Please come this way. No, I want to get the thing. You are brought aboard the Pearl Galley. Most unconventional entrance any visitor has ever made. I'm just here to have a look. Well, you're no different from any other guest in that sense. Everyone comes just to have a look. Then, like what they they like what they see, they stay long before you know it. They can't drag themselves away. Nevertheless, uh, the impromptu means you are an esteemed guest from afar and are as welcome as any other. We can't let you break the rule, otherwise I'll have to answer the boss. What rule? Guests are only allowed here by invitation. Okay. Okay, you're no criminal. By boss's rules, they have the right to invite other guests. So if you're planning on dropping in, your best bet would be to mingle with guests and see if you can talk into one of them. Okay. Smooth operator like your style will be waiting here. Wait, are we, are we going to be dragged in? Oh. Okay. Is this a floating restaurant? Cool. Cool, cool, actually. Can we fly up and get that item, though? Okay. Let me just fly it up because I can cheat it. And that's good. Swan Fury. Thank you. Uh, now we're going to need to fly up one more time. I love being able to just cheat. It's wonderful. It's so good. Let's see. Up. There we go. There it is. Nice. Now, is there something up there? Probably, well, I was going to say probably rises. not, but you never know. Oh, won't even let me touch that, so never mind. That That is how it is. Also, yeah, give me this item here. Take it now. Thank you. Surprise, this isn't a warp point, actually. Mustn't be a place that you can actually 
do a ton of stuff and then... It was as this is you or her we need to talk to, right? Uh, my throat! Here for the Oh, it's the opera! Is this the opera house? I have an awful throat ache, so I won't, uh, wouldn't be, uh, probably wouldn't be performing now. Oh, can I have an invite letter instead? You still haven't got yours? I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do to help. I'm not a guest. They just booked me to come and sing. I have to leave. Uh, how, how can I get a hold of it? You're looking to get, uh, uh, get somebody on board to issue an invitation letter. Forget it. Nobody in this place is going to want to do that for someone they don't know. Sorry to be so blunt, but people aren't willing to rest your neck. You're for a good time, though, I suppose. Though, somehow you don't look dressed for the occasion. You want to do something new. Uh, I just might just have a way of helping you stay on board. Oh, hey, I think we have three Qingxin flowers. Yeah. Cool, I think we have those. Yes. Yep. Tutor swore by them, hoping it works. Add your name to the list of performers in the troupe. Uh-oh. That should tide you over for at least as long as I'm on board. Now's your chance. Go get that invitation letter. Why are you helping me? Uh, you know. I was in your position once back when I was still a student, desperate for opportunities. Okay. It's my turn to give something back. I'll spare you the rest of my life story. Okay. Cool. So now we're in. Search for it. And yeah, you can drop. Thank you, buddy. God, I love being able to fly. God, it just makes this game so much nicer. It's is it unfair? Yeah, a little bit, but it's fine. Seems you still haven't found yourself an invitation. Uh, not yet, but I will. So I'm just like our boss. Your efforts have already paid off. I heard you getting turned down, but I also heard something else. Asking to find the easiest to talk to. Added your name to the list of performers. She stressed at your last minute addition that you shouldn't be in a hurry to kick you off the boat. Maybe it's a quick turn around with second thought with a regular folk. Da -da -da -da. Okay. In fact, he personally wrote you an invitation letter. Oh, cool. But he said to only tell you once you've finished dealing with everything else. You're free to come and go. Who's the boss? His name is Rurin. You may... I haven't. I've never heard that name. Uh, next time you visit, you won't need to take the aerial route with a ferryman stationed at the harbor. Nice. Okay. Okay, so now we can... Now we can go back whenever, I guess. I Though I don't know what this really is I, is this is this the opera house if it is i see i see okay anyways hi take me back oh connoisseur connoisseur catalog connoisseur catalog peruse wears a beauty beauty of water can i buy something okay that's a lot of them yeah that's a lot of them okay uh, take you to shore. Return to the harbor. Thank you. Cool. Well, we got that at least. Not sure if we'll ever need that, but hey, we got some free experience, so I will take that. Anyways, the next thing we need to do then is... Let's do the paper theater. Yeah. Alright. Cross the mountains. Cool. Let's head on here. Again, kind of kind of Rakugo esque for sure. Yeah. Let's loop on over. Hello. You guys ready? Yes. Alright, so let's do across mountains. Uh Huangan can leap leap from an upper level to the lower via gaps, but if he falls through, he will fall off stage, which will result in a performance failure. Okay, so we need the treasure chest. So that one's locked. Okay, so we need to go... So we need to move him up. Move the hole there. Right? Whoop. There we go. Now fall, buddy. Fall. Sick. Great. Alright, successful performance. The time of reunion is brief. Okay, so we need to get the chest. So what we're going to do is we are going to... So that's locked, and that's locked. So he's going... Oh, we can move him immediately to... Let's move him immediately to the far one. And then he will bounce off the wall. And then once he's in there, we can move the... Okay, let's just do that. Let's do this. So he's going to bounce off the wall. Then we'll move the hole over here. Okay. And now we move this to here. 
I love these puzzles. They're simple, but they're fun. These are really, really, really good. Yibing is totally... It's Today is wholly alone. How shall I return to the Adepti's home? All right. So now what we're going to do is we need to get to the chest. So I'm going to... If I move him... Let me just see here. I move him up there. So I need to get him to... I just need to get him to the top platform. Oh yeah, that's easy. I just do this. I wait for him to cross, and then I move it back to where the other one is. Easy. Very simple. Now I just do this. Uh-oh. Wait. And then I do this. Alright. Maybe, maybe less simple than I thought, but, but still rather easy. Huzzah! Successful performance! A lover you must find, a partner for life, for tears to wipe when sorrow is rife. We did it. Oh, I need to talk to him for the rewards. Yes, give me the rewards, buddy. Ah, oh, no. Our rewards, okay. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Easy. 20 hours to the next one. Okay. That's another one done. We do have enough for uh, a new thing. So we can get some more bombs. And we are also approaching the invite. So, we can now go to... So again, that's the main thing, so we'll do that after. There's no such thing as pure... And we're going to go to now... Go to the event details. We'll go to Vigilance at Sea. Right, because we can now do a few more. Go to the challenge. Yeah, so we'll go... Whoops, head on out to the Crux. The crooks. Maybe there'll be new, uh, new stuff to do. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Hello. Th these are real. These are all really good mini games. And I'll, I have to say that about everything that ever comes out from this game. It's just always generally like, yep, it's always fun. Everything that they put in. There's very few things that I would say that I've played in this game that are not just fun. All right, so we are going to... We're doing this one again? Okay. Fortify, Mora, Rolling Waves. Okay. Can I even see which one I have? I super can't. Great. Wait, I'm going to move me. All right, I'm going to move me. There we go. Now I'll be able to... Haha! -ha! You can't hide me! Why is that little girl not in a boat? There she is. All right. Okay, so it's left and right, and then up is also go. Because I just went by pressing up. Huh. We're waiting on maybe the last person, or are we just going to go without them? Three of us? All right. Sounds good. All right. Gather as many coins as possible. Okay, so we have the magnet. Thank you. Very good. Sea balloons have appeared to dump the loot. Oh, Mona's there. Okay. Yeah, don't hit the thing. Thank you. We got another more magnet. Good. Okay. Start that up. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Thank you. I didn't get that. Okay, so we got another... Okay. Got a shield. That's... Oh, well, bye. Okay, good. Dense fog. We got the magnet, which will be very helpful here. Okay. So yeah, there's dash, but then you can also just go forward. Got a shield. Thank you. If you don't go in there. Yes. Dump and pump. Okay. Now I wanted a magnet, but that's fine, I guess. Okay, we got this one. Okay, Mona's gone again. 
Got another shield at least. Okay. It's fine. Magnet. Okay. Sea balloons have appeared to dump cargo. Good. I got the whirlpool. I don't know what that does. I can make spawn a whirlpool. Don't really need a competitive power at this point. I want one that can just let me actually do stuff. Okay. Let's go around. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, go in my whirlpool. I dare you. Okay. Magnet. Good. Nice. Okay. Oh, they grabbed that one. That's fine. 13 seconds. I don't see any more. That means we might just win. I think we're just gonna win. Nice. That's all of them, baby. To the victor, the spoils. I did it. I'm the best. Of course, because I'm playing as, as Beto. Because of course. Look at me. I did it. 13. Dang, does that mean that we already maxed out the counter? Are you serious? Are you actually serious? Let's just exit and see. Did we in one match max it out for us? Let's just see here. Vigilance at sea. Uh, yeah, we just maxed it out. Wow. Alright, so then we can't do more until later. That's, that's, this is a fun one though. I don't like, I don't mind the multiplayer for this at all. He does. He doesn't like it. He really doesn't like it. All right. So now we got to go up here, which we can't actually get to very easily. Great. We'll start here first. We got to make our way there. All right. No, that was fun. That was good. That was good. And yeah, that gives us some more points there. Wow. We're getting levels for days. Hot dang. Easiest levels I've ever seen. Okay, so let's head up to where we need to go. Wow, why? We'll leave these fellers. We'll also grab this point here. Yes, I know that it's up. Everything is up. I'm going to be on this side for just a little bit, just to make things a bit different. Just to, just to spice things up a bit. Be a little crazy. Be a little kukuriku, as my family would say. Alright, so now we can go across here. Look how much experience I have. Because I'm refusing to increase the world level. At least for a bit. This is really funny. I could. And honestly, oh, why am I still in multiplayer? Whoop. I need to get out of multiplayer real bad. Stop that. Single player, please. And also, I'm going to kill the... Oh, hello. Look at all these people. I Whoa, enemy reinforcements? But how? I'm going to turn off the co-op thing here. Please don't tell me it's starting. Someone's trying to add me to co-op. Um, reject joins for now. Thank you. All right, so. The Exquisite Night Chimes Unlocked. I think that was... Is that what we're doing? Or is that something else? I don't know. Big damage shared amongst them. Let's get that AoE damage on all of them. Let's link them. And... Cool. Cool. Okay. Connect him. Hit the thing. Okay. Hello, where? Where are you? Right here? Okay. Alright. And hit you. Thank you for your drops. 
this is good because I need more of these insignias anyways. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Shh, let him cook. Uh, I don't think there's anything I need here, actually. Nice, nice, nice. God, you get so much experience from this, too. Okay, we're going up. Where are we going? Wow, we're really going. All right. Foosh, 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 foosh. I do really appreciate just how easy it is to get around here. Great. Well, in that case. In that case. What is this? Is this just the regular crystal shard? Come on, break. Seems to be. Okay. There we go. Behind the scenes. Get these dudes. Ooh, they really hate that. Yep. Oh my goodness. It just murders them. That was... That was brutal. That was horrible for them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And up. And let's go. Pow, 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 pow. We're gonna go up. We're gonna go whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah, keep whooshing, keep whooshing, keep whooshing. Oh, we're in uncharted territory. I don't even know where we are. Oh, is that is that the is that the chasm? I think that's the chasm. Not been to the chasm. Okay. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just your average person. Since I'm here, I might as well hit that uh hit the thing over there. All right. Switch okay, that. Fury. Oh, he does not like that either. At all. Nice. Challenge complete. Should be all of them, right? Yeah. Good. Anyways, if I look, where is... Oh, it's way over there, huh? Well, is that, I think that's it right there. So let's just go there. Might as well for now unlock it, you know, while we're here. Hello, look at all these little things. That looks important. Fwow Vale. That's rock, right? Seems to be. This looks okay. This looks like an actual straight puzzle, though. Yeah, it's fine. I don't need that. I'm not worried about that at all. Thank you. Wow, so many levels. So many free, free levels. Hello? Is that a Noctilux Jade? I'll take that. Okay. It's going to be annoying to get, but... And... Archaic stone? No, that's just something brand new. Also, this whole area is just completely weird. Why is it at an angle? Why are we at an angle? I don't want to be at an angle. Can we not just be up and down like normal? Oh, wow, look at all that. There's a dungeon straight beneath me, but we're not going to that. We're just going here to unlock this. Just to get it. Cinnabar? What is this? A uh, Pokemon game? I've literally never heard that term. Anywhere but Pokemon. And that's why I said that. Okay, there it is. Good. Okay. And. And. 
and thank you for the stone and thank you for not moving the stone it's quite nice of you because it could have very easily just like moved away also is this some uh amber grab that before i go what are these what what, what is that that's a bird that's a bird up all right so thank you Great. The Chasm's Maw. How come that name sounds familiar? I don't know. Do we have enough? Probably not. Nope. Alright, so we'll grab these before we go. Chasm Conqueror. Is that for just doing the singular one in here? Light up the surface map. Yep, because there's only the one. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see this here. Should be using Bido. Or someone, anyone who can actually, you know, hit it better, but it's going to be a new thing. Not just Core Lapis. It's good to get. I thought Core Lapis would be the really tough one to find, but it's it's not. It's, you know, it's the Noctilicus J. That's the, that's the one that's a pain. Hopefully maybe you can find more of it here. That whiffed entirely. Can you explode, buddy? Wish you could explode it on command. Be very nice. Okay, pop. They last almost too long, if I'm being real. There we go. Okay. So, we got that while we're here. And fireworks are still going off. Because of course. Because of course, they're right behind me and they're very loud. Get that, get that, get that. All right, so all these are done. We are at 600 Festival Fever, which means we are very close to being able to get our second uh, Chinqui. I think Chinqui. No, it'd be Shin. Shin I I was told how to pronounce it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's really a good one to get. So we'll do that for sure. Uh, and in the meantime, also, we will go and see. How are you to leveling up, buddy? We got 19 of these, so let's use them. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. So as for artifacts, I did give you just a stuff that's good, but obviously not really worked on. Yeah, the rain swords is the big thing. Which your rain sword is your, um, it's this one here, right? Normal attacks will trigger rain swords. Yeah. And this is definitely what we want to upgrade for what I, from what I know. When rain sword is shattered or its duration, it regenerates HP. Wow. Wow. And hydro bonus. That's really good. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why people say you're really good. I can literally see why people say you're really, really good. Yeah, we can't even upgrade any of your stuff. Yeah, that's all max level. That's all not able to be done. I'm not going to level up you much more. Okay, so. So, well, in that case, we only have the little, um, next part of the actual story. Okay. Wait until the time. Okay. But I, I, I better just go back to the city itself, I'm sure. And then from there, we'll see what to do. So let's wait till 8 to 10, two days later. Specific. Okay, so... That should be good, right? Right. We'll see, we'll see. It is funny when it actually makes you, like, wait. Not just the fact that you had to wait in real time, but, you know. Okay. Okay. All right. So, here we are.
Right. It's about time for us to meet up with Ganyu. Okay. Let's head to Eugene Terrace. Sounds good. Uh, we're ba -ba -ba -ba. up there. Okay. All right. All right. Best the ways to just. Oh, dog. Jump from up here. Okay, so. I should probably, honestly, upgrade the world level. I should probably, just to get better rewards and stuff, too. Right? It's probably the right thing to do. Alright. Hello. Move myself back. You okay? You okay, you little Greetings, goatster? Traveler in Paimon. Uh, what time is it? Time for you to take a nap, my dear. Are you okay, Ganyu? You were nodding off there. Didn't you sleep well last night? Uh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Let's discuss the matter at hand. Since last time, I've been thinking a lot about the story Paimon told me. In essence, someone rescued a drowning man and performed some music. If that were all there was to it, it could have been many people, human or adeptus. Mm -hmm. But the tune was allegedly so wonderful that the drowning man forgot about everything else, even his own impending death, and only came to his senses after being brought to shore. Perhaps there was an adeptal power at work in that music that he, as a mortal, could not perceive. Or perhaps he sensed a power surrounding him, but lacked the words to describe it, okay. not knowing where it came from. Okay, okay. Either way, if this part of the story is true, then the rescuer has to have been an adeptus. I mean, we kind of agreed on that earlier, but fine. You really think so? But this story is all the way from Fontaine. There's nobody magical in France. We know also, that. I'm just really curious about how people from Fontaine think this fairy lady looks. Oh, uh, definitely having wings. Ooh. Like a crystal flies wings? That would be pretty cool. But Paimon definitely can't imagine any of the Adepti looking like that. Actually, Ganyu, if you had to save a drowning person, how would you go about it? Ganyu would just let them drown. Huh? Me? Um, well, I'd yep. get them to the shore. What did I say? And then oh, get them I'd to the shore. probably hide behind a tree and watch them for a while. Once I was sure that they were going to be okay... I'd slip away without a sound. Uh, cho... Cho kawaii. Got it. So basically, Ganyu's the type of person who doesn't like taking credit for her good deeds. No, it's not like that. I'm just not very good at explaining things. Ah, the explosions um, start again. I also find it really awkward accepting other people's gratitude. Well, what if this adeptus in the story had a similar attitude? That would explain why she just left without mm -hmm. saying a word. She was probably thinking something like, <clears throat> Oh my god. One was merely passing by and saw fit to address this egregious disruption to one's graceful zithering at once. Zithering, that's you a new word. You keep your thanks to yourself. <laughs> that was actually a very good impression of Cloud Retainer, Paimon. As far as I'm aware, Cloud Retainer isn't the most musically gifted. Still, she kind of like completely rule her out just yet. Wanted to blow up the town. Um, if we set off now, we could head to Mount Outsung and ask her about it. That's how you pronounce it, I guess. You'll be able to confirm either way if it's her, and I can. Um, I've been in Leah Harbor for so long now that I'm just not as familiar with the Adepti anymore. <laughs> That's fair. If there's anything we want to know about them, she's the best person to ask. Sounds great. And we're pretty close with Cloud Retainer by now, so we probably don't even need to bring her food this time, right? That's how we get smited, Paimon. I've prepared a gift for her to mark the festival, just in case. You However, still have a few reservations. I gotta move over just a bit here. I'm just, I'm just noticing. I just got nope. That nope. Don't, don't move the game. Don't move the game. Uh, fit, fit the game to the screen. I need to move me. Yeah, slide on over. Yeah, slide. Come on, slide. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll go a little bit off screen just so I can still see the... Uh... Okay, but I like to hide my code still, so we'll go. So I think uh, right here, because I, I usually perfectly hide the code. Yeah, there we go. Um, Cloud Retainer spends most of her days studying mechanisms in her abode. 
she's on her own so much of the time that the moment she has someone to chat with, she just... Never mind. I promised okay. I'd help Mr. Dvorak, and now that I've made the contract, I can't be having second thoughts. Traveler? Paimon? Let's set off for Cloud Retainer's abode. Seems like this is a tough decision for Ganyu, but she's made up her mind now. Paimon gets why she'd be so anxious. Hmm. Okay, how about this? If Cloud Retainer tries to start telling stories about her again this year, we should pipe up and keep Oh, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a reference to a previous year. Wait, Got it. Did she leave already? Hey, Ganyu! Wait up! Alright, so. I wonder if this is also going to be tremendously long and also perhaps require me to do missions probably not probably not but we'll see anyways we gotta head all the way up here which thankfully we have a warp point to because we did the story nice and actually before we go there i just had a thought i'm going to open up go to my teapot can i warp here can I warp? How can I warp here? There we go, good. Because I can warp here. Which means that I can... Can I also move the warp point? Because I sure hope I can. Um, Because then that means, hopefully, we should be able to get our currency and all that stuff. So, okay, wait. Can I, can I move this warp point? Let's see here. Is that a thing? Where are we? I don't think so okay never mind right okay that's fine that's fine okay so uh let's go and get our stuff to be like hey what's up kind of cool to approach it from this way you know get to see you again a different angle anyways hi give me my things maybe you're not all right so how do I get my... There we go. Okay, so no, I need to go to... How do I How do I open the pot? How do I open the pot? What's the, bo what's the pot button? Why can't I see? Why am I blind? Oh, it's square. It's because my, my, my webcam is literally just over top of it. Also, heart item? Oh, companion level four. Whoa, did she already get to four? Wow, okay. Okay, so... The Q... That table. I don't think we can get any of this. Oh, we can make a rug if we wanted. Fisherman's efforts. So can we... So convert. Oh, no, never mind. We can literally convert into it. Oh, frick. Okay, well, so first off, though, do we have our, our guy to if you ever... selling stuff? Because if so, we're going to go check with him first. There he is. Okay, we're going to go check with him first. Because he might have some good stuff. He might have dog. Must purchase dog. Please. Behold. Several puppers. Hi, dude. The one before you. Okay, let's see here. Ah. What do you have? <gasps> Pupper. Good. And a crane? No. Subspace boulder. Form the basic terrain. Other than using them as fence and walls, you can use them as throwing weapons. I'm gonna buy one of these. Actually, I'm gonna buy a couple. I wanna make like I'm gonna buy two of these. And I'm gonna buy one of this. Yeah. Because then I wanna like do something with with them. Yeah. Pupper. Here comes the boy so yes mountain mountain range here we go so we can go like yeah this is why because then we can go like making my mountainy area over here right okay then oh that's oh that's a, like a mess -a. okay did not know it'd be like that okay i thought that'd be like i thought that would be smaller that's fine it's fine. My sister also told me that, guess what? This gets bigger, this whole area. Which I'm terrified of. Okay, so let's go with, uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, we're, again, we're, we're kind of working on 
making my uh my humble little trying to make things here dog force patrol hound paimon gets to be with the pupper let's go boop good save good so yeah now we got this little area Nice, nice. Look at this. Again, I'm gonna turn that into like hot springs because no one can stop me. Squall and Fury. Let's see the popper. Does he actually do anything? Traveler, and he 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 reacts at least. How about Bido. Oh my God! There's so many voice lines. I'm still invisible. I just realized. That's fine. Maintain an inspirational disposition. One must have a mature outlook. Are you just trying to say that Paimon can't make it? Funny. Funny, funny. This is such a good mode. Anyways. What can we buy? Okay, so those are far away. Um... We can afford rocks. So these are furnishings. So these are all rocks. I am looking to see if we have any, like, raise purchase limit. Interesting. Okay. I do want to see if there's any, like... Okay, we got this creation boulders. We got those. I want to see if there's anything that looks similar to hot springs, you know? Like, that's kind of my, kind of my thing. Then again, it might be actual furnishing. Let's look for the blueprint for it, you know? Oh god, there's so much. Is there truly no organization? Illichural stuff. I hear the dog. Ooh, I like these though. I like those a lot. I hear him forking. Oh, seek secret recipes. Okay. Okay. Ramen stand. Nice. Okay, we got some Inazuna mansion instead, so you can switch out the whole house. Very good. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those are cool. Oh my god. Narukami's banner. Sick. See, now we're in Japan town. So this is where we might actually see some stuff. Let's see. Tea, tea house counter gotta be hot spring stuff oh we got swords cool cool there it is it's 160 okay okay i wish i could like favorite it okay we're gonna hold on to that then we're def's gonna hold on to it okay so i could okay so i can probably do something with that okay View your game records. Again, one of these must be like what play music, right? Probably. God, there's so many cool things. God of the stove statue. That's cool. Okay, no, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll be here forever. I must, I must leave. Th 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 thank you, thank you for your service. But we must, we must go. We're going to head to the Liyue go back to where we need to go okay we would be here forever if i if i if i had my if i had my my chance i would truly never leave which is a big problem which is not what i want to do okay so let's head up here Behold. this really is the one game that you could play as the one game of all time, right? You could honestly only play this and have the entire experience of everything. Doesn't that one adeptus who loves food live here? Yes. Yep, that's what we did last time. 
I mean, we could do that again. Or we could actually do our quest instead. We can't do that. Alright, where's Gone You? I need to talk to her. I'm so tired from trying to keep up. Don't either of you need to take any breaks? Paimon, we just warped here. I can't believe oh. it. Oh. Cloud Retainer is not here. Where'd she be? Huh? Did we miss her? She doesn't like to travel. So in the past, it's always been the other Adepti who come to visit her during the festivals. Maybe she, could she be busy? True. There's a crab I saw. Now that I think about it, Cloud Retainer would be quite capable of taking care of anything on her own. There's no need to worry about her. Since she's not here, I guess the next step is to check all the other Adepti abodes. Fun. One by one. Uh-oh. Will it involve a lot more traveling? Hmm. <gasps> Paimon has a great idea! Please go on, Paimon. Our goal here is to find the Adeptus that helped mm -hmm. the Vorjak's ancestor, right? We can't hear any music right now, but... Oh. If she's really <laughs> as nice as the story suggests... Paimon, what are you saying? to help anyone who was drowning, right? Paimon. Yes, I think that's fair to say. So, all we have to do is get the Traveler to pretend to fall into the water... Oh my and god. ...and the Adeptus will come to the rescue! Yeah, why don't you drown? You Guess I can give it a try. Just trust Paimon. This is hilarious. Over there. Quick, swim to the very center. This is clown shoes. Swing to the center of the pool. Okay. Time to die. <laughs> here to save us. Oh no, whatever will a Paimon do? Hello, fish. God, I can unlock fishing soon, too. Someone what carries you ashore on? so quickly you don't catch who it is. Oh! Oh my god, is it gonna be that Xiao was the waifu all this time? How do you feel right now? Actually, you're fairly mermaid like. Uh. Shenha, and the Conqueror of Demons. Uh, why don't you say something? <sighs> Please don't make Paimon explain it. <clears throat> okay, fine. Paimon will explain. We're looking for an Adeptus who's good at being a lifeguard and playing music. <laughs> but if the Adepti aren't going to stay home, then how are we supposed to find them? It wasn't me. Uh, yeah, so this Adeptus is most likely a woman. And I am not an Adeptus, as you both already know. Traveler and Paimon. Actually, I didn't, but thank you for telling me. <sighs> okay, so this is Paimon's fault. No way Paimon would have suggested this idea if she'd known how awkward this was going to be. Sorry for troubling both of you. <sighs> Glad you're okay. Ah, uh, fine. As far as I know, the one you seek is no Yaksha. And one last thing. Your actions here caused others a great deal of worry. Do not repeat them again in the future. Wow, you are a male Sundere. As ever, the conqueror of demons comes and goes, just like the wind. Right. I didn't dare to say a word just now. How's your training going, Shenha? Have you made any plans for Lantern Rite? We could spend it together in Liyua Harbor if you'd like. How are you so thick? Oh. I had planned to spend the festival with Master this year. <sighs> However... Oh, speaking of Cloud Retainer, when did you see oh. her last? Cloud Retainer's your master. That makes sense. Earlier this morning, she set off from Mount Hulao at dawn. I noticed she was using an Adeptus art of some kind to protect a mechanism that looked like a boiler. Hmm. Maybe it was a gift for Mountain Shaper. I did not inquire. Uh. So we just missed her. Please excuse me for a moment. I think I'll leave the gift in her abode. Sure. Thank you. It sounds like Ganyu and Shenha have gotten a lot closer recently. Yes. Again, we're kind of skipping ahead in the story, the but it's fine. During winter, I continue to train with Master. In the other months of the year, I have been learning to adapt to human life in Liyue Harbor. Ganyu arranged accommodations for me in the city and also recommended several work positions for me. But when I try to blend in by referring to her as Miss Ganyu or Lady Ganyu, like the others... Oh, she says honorific I stuff. Her like that. Hmm. 
Sometimes I'm supposed to copy other people. Sometimes I'm not. Kind of gets embarrassed when people call her lady on you. Oh, is that what it is? Hmm. Noted. So you came looking for Master today because you wanted to ask her about the mystery adeptus. Is that right? Yep. You know, it would make sense if it's Cloud Retainer because then it falls directly in line with the story of the 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 crane, right? The crane legend from Japan. Oh, speaking of that, have you ever heard any music while out training in the mountains? Only the music that is in my head. Music? What is that? Okay, never mind. Uh, it's uh, a kind of it's, a happy you know, or relaxing Boop, 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 or, boop, boop. Uh, you know. Okay, I'm done. I also left her a note so that she knows. Just where put to it on her us. fridge, you know. We won't miss her again. Yay, it's a good thing she leaves her house really open. We were just talking about this thing called music, and based on Paimon's description, I do believe I hear it every day. Please follow me. Oh, we're really? we're gonna go, and it's gonna Wait, be like. Let's go. Do you not like the sound of the water falling off of a waterfall? And Papa's gonna be like, that's not music, stupid. Holy shit, how could someone be so stupid? Oh my god. <laughs> Just extremely aggressive Paimon. Like ludicrously so, where is this? Looks like it's like right under, ah, right here. Nice, thank you. Thank you. Paimon is just comedy gold in my eyes. Just, no matter what, Paimon makes me smile or laugh. One of the two. Maybe both at the same time. And even just imagining Paimon doing things. It's funny. Because, like, how could someone so small do things? Little cringe lord. I would buy a Paimon plush to just cover it in milk and throw it at a wall till it sticks. You know? Also, we're super gonna be 100% on the nose that it's gonna be like, listen to the sound of the water. Is that not music? This here we is go. the place. I enjoy training here to the sound of music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! Paimon's got death! Oh, <laughs> My condolences, Paimon. Or, I'm sorry. Oh, whew. Paimon hasn't gone deaf after all. Paimon heard you when you just spoke. Uh, anyway, uh, where is this music? The faint sound of birdsong. I called it. The quiet murmur I called it. of the streams. <sighs> These are relaxing sounds. <sighs> are they not the music of which you speak? Ah, uh, Traveler, play her Wonderwall! Oh! Uh, Paimon wasn't quite done with the description. Okay, fine, it's all Paimon's fault. What we're looking for are not the sounds of nature, but melodies played on special instruments. Oh, and a melody is? Uh, go on, Paimon, sing us a nursery rhyme. Hey, don't you patronize Paimon! Let's get one thing straight. Paimon knows plenty of nursery rhymes, but Paimon does not sing on demand without payment. Would you do it for a Paimon snack? Hey, why don't you just sing that one melody Shen has heard before? It'll probably help her to understand. Oh, what we're the Whopper about. Flower song. Wow, that's better than just doing the Barbara song again. Oh, was that from the opera that Yunjin sang? I probably skipped ahead. Mm -hmm. That was a melody, and melodies can be called music. <sighs> it felt like I was transported back to the past. In my mind's eye, I could see the Zhao lanterns lighting up the night sky again. <sighs> We're all there, raising our glasses and drinking to our heart's content on the Jade Chamber. As I watched Yunjin's performance, I felt a warm sensation in my heart. <sighs> and as the drink reached my stomach, it went from warm to hot. When you hummed that melody just now, feeling I was going to say that sound that sounds like a previous year's right thing. Oh, so that's the power of music. 
Now listen to this and we start playing Mori Calliope for her. Wow, Shanna. That was so deep! Music definitely has the power to bring up memories. It's like a time capsule with all the special moments from our life squished inside. That's true, and that's why I listen to the same music that I listened to when I first got my iPod, full of embarrassing, embarrassing purchases on iTunes. Well, what about you, Ganyu? Are there any melodies that have left a deep impression on you? Ganyu just starts rapping. Um... I don't remember if my parents ever sang any lullabies to me. I know some local folk songs. And a few other things come to mind, too. The songs of the sailors down at the docks. The little ditties that the vendors call out in front of their beloved shops. The tunes of folk artists performing on the streets. Can I just say, some of the stores here will play like two songs over and over and over. It is annoying, but it's also kind of nice. Yes, you know? that's right. In the past... Whenever I heard the sound of those tunes, I always felt that they were worlds apart from me. Nanny and Leo probably view me as a non-human. I mean, and you are a right, goat. In the sense that I never could a connect big, with big, humans' artistic goat. expression and their sentiments. So I haven't been able to integrate into their community and be a part of their lives. At least, that's the view I held in the past. Only more recently did I start to realize that... The only barriers are ones that I have erected with my imagination. Aha, uh -huh, erected. The way those melodies make me feel isn't all that different from other people after all. Hmm. They're about mundane details of everyday existence. Life's ups and downs, joys and sorrows. Even though we come from different backgrounds and have different stories to tell, when it comes down to the most common things, that we see and experience around us each day in the city in that sense go, see that's interesting because like You're really making progress. i've been You're going for daily walks here when you think about and that's kind of what i feel like you know um okay maybe some are more like <laughs> but at the very least kuching and chenna are your friends now right yes i am technically speaking we should refer to each other by the conventional forms of address used among fellow disciples. <sighs> but now that I know what constitutes a friendship, I do believe we are more friends than co-disciples. Thank you, everyone. Once the days are warmer, I would like to host you at my home in the city. Hmm. Please invite Kuching as well. That's nice. I've planted many types of flowers. I'm sure some of them will be to your taste. <laughs> Literally telling her to uh, eat grass. You are too kind. I couldn't possibly. Nonsense. You are my friend. Please, eat my weeds. I have cultivated and cared for the flowers just as you taught me. Once you've seen them, I will save some for decoration. We can feast on the Both rest. of you are literally eating plants. Um, thank you in advance. Wait, what is that saying again? If you insist... Do people say that? <sighs> it's like watching sure two non-humans interact. It doesn't matter, okay? You got the point across. No need to split hairs. Um, Paimon's more concerned about your idea of a girl's night out. Eating flowers? Really? This isn't anything Can you go make to like do a with you both being the disciples of that dandelion salad. That's technically a thing. <laughs> Who dares refer to one not by one's adeptus title? but merely as that illuminated bird. Did you get a new voice? Master, our greetings, Cloud Retainer. Ah, there it is! The illuminated bird has landed! Double humph. Now she has the gall to use it rather than she, even after being chastised once already. Huh. Barely a moment has passed since we last met, and yet your impertinence has reached new heights. Very well. If you refuse to learn your lesson, one shall scold you no further. It's okay, I'll just throw her in the one lake. One has received your message from Ganyu. On the matter oh. of the Adeptus you seek, one suspects to know their identity. Well, shall one lead the way? Yes, please, Cloud Retainer. I still have to complete my training for today, so I will bid farewell to everyone here. Very well. Await my arrival at one's abode later this night. On this special occasion... You should indulge yourself with some savory dishes. Hey, happy lantern, right, Shenha? If you want to release a Shao lantern, come and find us anytime. Thank you, everyone. Happy lantern, right, to you too. God, your <laughs> boobers are insane. <laughs> Maddening. <laughs> hey. 
Hey. So now we got to go where? Uh, head to the designated area. Ooh, that is far. Where are we going? Where are we going? Did I even click on that? I did. Okay, so it's this way. I'm facing it directly. It is... No, it's up here? Okay, it's right here. Okay. Right around here. Why do I have that marked off? What? I, I don't need that. I was for a quest there before. Okay. Well, it's by the water. Yoink. Is this Quaily Plains? Cloud Retainer, why did you bring us here? God, you is of course familiar with the name Guizhong. Mm. But have you ever heard of I'm her? I'm gonna say no. Guizhong is another name of Agentis, oh. the god of dust. God of dust. She was extroverted in nature and adored social gatherings and inventions alike. Long ago, this region was yet a prosperous assembly. Guizhong often invited her friends to visit her home, reserving for us seats around the largest stone table. Seagazer would always bring out his latest treasure and place it upon the table. Ah, oh, he could be quite the braggart. Though usually a mild-mannered fellow, when it came to those collectibles, he was oh so Oh my god, why does he have Funko Pops? He always loved to show them No off. wonder Seagazer's dead. He just spent all his time on Funko Pops. I remember that name. So that's yeah. what Seagazer was like. He was an old friend and a former rival. Once he had brought out the treasure, it would predictably become the center of attention. Neither Guizhong cool. nor one was content to let him just steal the spotlight. I do like this so characterization of the the adepti creations. as adepti we were each gifted in our own ways and that we were gifted in per it's sea gazer was gifted in the art of finding the rarest result, funko pops his treasures were not even of his own making he just used his exploration skills to dig them out of the ground how pray tell could he compare to me when every single one of one's accomplishments were crafted by one's own hand. Yeah, but you see, that, that Deku glows in the dark. Cloud Retainer, you are getting competitive again. <sighs> one digresses. Regardless, every time an argument occurred, Guizhong would come over to walk. What mm -hmm. kind of nonsense? No kind of nonsense were we spared. Sometimes she would brazenly opine, Ah, why argue between yourselves when neither of you could ever hope to beat me? Other times, she would make <laughs> unsolicited. She always sought to make everyone happy. And one must say, she had quite the gift for it. It also helped that she never referred to one as that illuminated bird or lady bird. You, come on, get over yourself! <laughs> anyway. Just as our impassioned arguments would reach the apex of acrimony, Marchosius would bring his delectable dish. Who would dare snub the stove god? Oh, wait, wait, the stove god. We've creations. heard that name before. At the sight of him, we would all meet. <laughs> Back then, one was always bothered by how the cups Rex Lapis brought were always too square for one's taste. Oh my god, thank you. Can you see yourselves ever enjoying a drink? From a square cup. No, thank you, thank you. No, okay, this is legitimately a thing. My grandparents have square mugs for their coffee, and like, I'll sometimes spill a little out of the corner, and like they'll be like, "Well, what's just drink in the corner?" I'm like, "But it's it's, it's so easy to spill." That is Precisely. annoying. Precisely. Yeah. So as you can see, even one as great as Rex Lapis was not. I can't to believe Rex Lapis could make blunders. I say, knowing who Rex Lapis is. Even one could never find fault with Marchosius' cooking. As we ate, Guizhong That is a very foreign-sounding name. For conversation, Marchosius. Filling the table with humor and laughter. Each of those old fossils had their character flaws and points of obstinacy. So why was it that whenever we dined together, we always had a marvelous time. Because you stopped caring? We would drink together from a spot high in the mountains. Nice. Streetwood Rambler would often remain to admire the flowers with Guizhong, 
Before returning to her own abode, the glazed lilies were far more abundant. Street word rambler. Yeah, that's a new one. That would be Ping. You probably oh. know her as Madam Ping. That's her name, huh? Oh, okay. Wait, this is a lovely story. Oh my god, it's gonna be Madam Ping. Come here to, or are you saying that it was Guizhong? Didn't she, um... Alas, long has one avoided this place for precisely that reason. The sights one should have guessed that you would disrupt one's poignant moment of mourning with your incessant questioning. No matter... One Cloud Retainer hates Paimon so now. much. So much. In times gone by, oh, one quarreled oft with Guizhong concerning mechanical principles. We Are we going to see what they look like? And neither would yield. Under the pretext Whoa. of a social gathering, one invited the Yo, the bird's kind of hot. To judge the quality of our creations. Yo, the bird's kind of hot, though. But Rex Lapis declared that Guizhong's obscuro vopus mechanism was superior. Yo, she's cute. Oh my god, the bird is so hot. The bird is Bayonetta. Holy shit. knew that Guizhong was indeed the superior talent in the mechanical arts. As for the story between Guizhong and Streetward Rambler, that begins with a certain bell. In Guizhong's opinion, while mechanisms were no substitute I like how this cutscene looks a lot. They were yet capable of producing simple but fine melodies. But Streetward Rambler believed music to be an expression of Oh song, my god, Ping's kinda an hot. Emotional enterprise that could never hope She's kind to of a be stunner. by machinery. They argued endlessly until one asked Rex Lapis to intercede. He confiscated the bell and designated it for ceremonial use. Holy crap, I cannot Thereafter, get over how hot that bird one is. One would often find them convening in the mountains. Discussing music, mechanics, and all the affairs of the mortal world. But these good times were not to last. Whoa. War broke out between the gods, and soon engulfed the Guili Plains. Guizhong was overpowered by the enemy, and fell in battle. When Streetwood Rambler and I arrived at the scene at long last, all that remained among the ruins was her lifeless body. After this, at Streetward Rambler's request, Rex Lapis granted her the cleansing bell for safekeeping. To honor our friend's memory, one made a few finishing touches to her ballistic device. Many lantern rites have passed since then. Many greetings and goodbyes. Upon what do you gaze? The Gwaili Plains? No. It's... everything. We think of human life as like a lantern that's... lit one minute and extinguished the next. But are we adepti so different? Perhaps as dust settles after a storm, we too must one day return to the world below. That was a freaking beautiful cutscene. has always been Holy crap. And private by nature. Wow. And has never relished wow. socializing. One's dealings with Guizhong were born out of discussions on the discipline of mechanics. Like, I've seen a couple of those storybook style cutscenes through the game, and they've all been, like, fine. But that one was kind of amazing. Wow, 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 wow. wow. So also, daddy. you were so hot. Oh my god. Just because one is not I cannot of believe this. Graces does not mean one is fond of them. One is perfectly capable of partaking in conversation despite being introverted. That's very true. But in the end, one is nothing like Streetwood Rambler. And also, she yeah, people weren't joking. She was hot. I see that back there. You can't hide rocks. that from me. Moreover, her friend back when they were rivals. They would often compete against one another in the realm of musical composition. That cleansing bell was one of Guizhong's proudest works. Oh, the Having bell the can... To both the bell is an AI music generator? Wait, that's weird. Didn't Madam Ping say she pestered an old friend for that bell? And she also said something about being a vain beauty when she was young, nurse. Streetward Rambler. A vain beauty. <laughs> My foot. That bell has a sad history. Clearly, she refrained from sharing with you the truth of its origins. 
since the right time had not yet come. As for her old friend, who else could it be? As soon as Streetward Rambler heard that a certain Zhang Li wished to borrow the bell, she realized that the man was none other than Rex Lapis, and that he had made an enormous decision. After all, we all have known each other for several millennia. Some things between us are implicitly understood. Whoa! So they were talking in secret code? Oh, hmm. Paimon did not see that one coming. <laughs> Enough of your intrusions. Where was one up to? Ah, yes. One remembers now. The cleansing bell is powered by a mechanical art and can be used to great effect as an accompanying instrument. After the passing of its creator, it was used, but okay. Streetward Rambler did not acquire it from Rex Lapis for the purpose of producing. It is actually kind of cool that it's tied right routines. into the main story. No. I don't know, I'm so used to Each time she rang, event stuff being actually unrelated, but... Composed on it. The two once clashed over their beliefs about the meaning of music. Who would have thought that with Guizhong's passing and Streetward Rambler's mourning, two tunes hmm. comp... <sighs> once upon a time, Streetward Rambler also loved gatherings, liquor, and music. Hmm. But after Guizhong passed, she preferred her own company. She could often be found sitting alone at a mountain. Music would go from mournful to soothing to impassioned. Many years passed before she finally composed a melody to her satisfaction. In celebration, she played the tune to the clouds. Regrettably, one has only ever heard her play that tune once. Which brings one back to the matter you've been investigating. Perhaps it was during that performance ah, there we that the go. ancestor of your yep. Fontaine friend fell in. But if she was so happy with the melody, why would she only play it once? One was also greatly perplexed by this. After suppressing one's curiosity for a long while, one finally approached her and asked why she, in response she said, though the strings that played that melody survive, the one who Ooh. inspired it is gone. Oh my Tell god, me, that is... Tainer, when the one attuned to my soul is Jeez. no longer... Aww, poor Madam Ping. I just remember being taken care of by you when I was young. Once the Archon War came to an end, I stayed behind in Liyue Harbor to honor my contract. Although I met Guizhong a few times, I never knew anything of this particular story. Guizhong was quite the visionary, but tragically hmm. passed before her time. I've definitely heard that name. Like, now that they're saying it quite a bit, I've definitely clouds. heard it, and I don't remember where. Blank but I did. pages give one cause for contemplation on... Had you not decided to search for that mystery Adeptus... Hmm. For, as of now, you know the truth. Yeah. That the Adeptus who rescued the I think I came to that a little early, but... Do you intend to discuss this with her? That's a hard question. Do you mean... Ping might find the topic too distressing? Precisely. The passing of our old friend is a heavy topic yeah. that both of us are usually careful to avoid. If I may be so bold, Cloud Retainer, could it be that this is just your own personal opinion? Oh? How so? I've been in Leo Harbor for quite a long time now, and I've witnessed many mm. farewells along the way. So I too am well acquainted this is ridiculously with the pain of the passing of a loved one. But this doesn't bring the city or its people to a standstill. They have to keep moving for Someone as perceptive and wise as Ping will surely have come to understand and embrace this. Though these immortal mountains have lost an Adeptus, the harbor of mortals has gained a wise elder. No loss can ever be undone. But there is always much that can still be gained. Ping has helped countless people and will guide many others in the years to come. And all to whom she extends a helping hand. Though it is heartbreaking to lose a kindred spirit. Yeah, that's true. Life no, I like that. I like that. I like that viewpoint. Ping what she thought about adding a music festival to this year's Lantern Rite. Oh, when we get back, why don't we just ask her if she'd like to perform? Maybe we can even get her up on stage. <laughs> you youngsters and your imaginations. Why don't you come with us? It's been a long time since you last spoke with Ping. 
And Leoa Harbor is always decorated so beautifully during the festival period. And nobody knows that you wanted to blow it up. Is not every lantern right the same in this regard? Were there ever anything new to discuss? One in pink could mean any day of the year. I disagree. Each new day and each new year is different. Do it different. for Ganyu. Hmm. The edibles she brought Oh, the edibles? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I see. Okay. Can't get that up on the mountain, huh? Very well. Then one will be off. If the other old fossils have sneaked away into the city to amuse themselves... I see that. ...one shall soon find out. I see that. All right. We should be getting back to the harbor as well. Don't we warp don't me. We want to keep her waiting. Don't warp me. <sighs> Once the Gwaili assembly, now the Gwaili plains. Say, if we planted flowers there and cared for them carefully enough, do you think that I mean, one maybe day one we'd day. Allow one to take back one's praise from a moment prior. You are still far too given to flights of fancy, child. What? Cloud retainer? Uh. One observed that you were making no effort to leave and return to chase oh my them God. and hasten you. She's a mommy, but she's like an actual mother type that is just. The wind rises. Little, uh... Little Anya for stuff, huh? I actually do get it now when people are saying that the bird is hot. I understand now. I understand completely. Oh, frick off. Perish. And die. Perish. 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 Die. Die. Die, 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 slam, thank you. I see the other chest there, might as well go get that too. You even At this point. God, I love just being able to go, look at all these enemies, pa 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 pa. Hit that. I'm gonna pop that. You're dead already. Cool. You're dead. Thank you for dying. Okay. Now that's what I call treasure. Good stuff. Adventure time. Good stuff. Now. How he doing? Not enough. Death's not enough. Okay, so head on back to the city. This is way longer than I thought and might legitimately be its own video. I did not think that that- I did not know that these events were so meaty. Like, actually. I thought they were way smaller. Like, there's already mini games and stuff. What do you mean there's a full story, too? Alright, ping. They look deep in talk. What a strange coincidence. It appears you made haste after all. One arrived oh, good. but moments before good, good, good. Oh, bless my soul. To what do I owe the honor? How nice of you all to come and visit me. Miss Illuminated Bird. <laughs> Miss Illuminated Bird. Yet? Said what precisely? And why should one be tasked with saying it? Because you're the one who's known Madame Ping the longest. <sighs> oh, even she's having an issue with that. Street word. Um, or rather, presumably, you would prefer to be addressed as Ping? Oh, Cloud Retainer, you are uncommonly polite today. One, uh, uh given that Lantern Rite is almost upon us, the weather in the city is most pleasant. She's trying. And a sweet floral fragrance lingers in the She's air. She's trying. Um, gone you, please continue from here. Wow. Huh? Infallible godbird, huh? Uh, all right. So, this all started because we were trying to help Mr. Dvorak find the adeptus who saved his ancestor's life. Ganyu recounts the story to Madame Ping. Cloud Retainer informed us that the one who played that melody and rescued the drowning man was none other than yourself. Ah, let me think. Yes, I... I do believe I recall that encounter. Uh, 
What a long time ago that was. I'm surprised that you still remember it. See, Ping is way more fine with it. It's just Cloud Retainer that is having a rough time. Even more astonishing, perhaps, is the fact that this story has survived this long at all. When mortal lives are so very brief. <laughs> it appears that she has proven herself right once again. Who's she? We like to call her Gui Jong. From the look in Cloud Retainer's eyes... Mm -hmm. <sighs> Albeit reluctantly, one might add. <laughs> there is no harm done, after all. Lantern Rite's very purpose is to commemorate the heroes who gave their lives for Liu Wei. Although Gui Zhong did not live to see the splendid sights of today, she was as much a hero as any other. Uh, so how has she proven herself right again exactly? Once upon a time, she said to me, that humans were a weak form of life. But as she interacted more and more with them, hmm. her opinions on them began to change. She marveled at the beautiful complexity of their spirits, the sheer splendor of all they could accomplish through their hard work and intelligence. She told us that to underestimate human potential would be to make a grave mistake. With the smallest amount of guidance, enormous power can be unleashed in them. And a human who has reached their full potential may well be her equal. Hmm. She always had a way with words. That her mechanical accomplishments were judged superior to one's own was, one suspects, in her. large part due to her sheer elder. Is this an Edison Tesla sort of thing? I th it feels like it. Speaking of mechanics, Cloud Retainer, do you still remember that potted plant mechanism? The one that the two of you gave me as a gift? Of course. Gui Zhang and Wan both put an immense amount of effort into that gift. As hmm. Gui Zhang once said, it takes every blade of grass and every flower to make a homeland. When I see the sight of Liyue Harbor before us today, I am reminded of this. Madam Ping looks very emotional right now. Well, she has been through a lot in her time. <sighs> of all of us, it was Gui Zhong who was the fondest of these grand and exciting occasions. <sighs> If she were still with us, I'm quite sure she would still be trying to best Cloud Retainer's finest works at every opportunity. Liyue Harbor is always filled with the sound of music at this time of the year. If she were here, one is certain that she would seek you out to discuss and debate the virtues of various melodies. Oh yeah, music! We've been dying to ask. What was the melody that you played back then? Oh, also, with you being such a music expert, wow, you're enough, just throwing it all out right now, huh? As a all of it at once. I can make arrangements right away. Oh. As much as I don't wish to dampen your enthusiasm, it's been a long time since I played this zither. Oh, the zither's My the instrument. Don't have the dexterity they once did. Nah, now I know what zithering is. And whenever I play that tune. It always reminds me of hmm. her. I start wondering what she would think of the changes I have made to her melody. There was a period of time whenever I started strumming. It almost felt like she was back oh, again. Oh, this is... Sitting right this there is sad. on the stone stool next to me, chatting but away. Sad in a warm way, Sky if that makes sense. And sea gazer too. You know? Looking just like they did in the old days, no matter how much time goes by. The moment that melody starts playing, it transports me right back to that time in my memory. So the past still weighs heavily on your heart? No. Oh, I would be lying to myself if I claimed to have completely moved on. But that is not to say that grief doesn't get easier with time. Despite the sadness, I have found many things that bring me joy in life. It is simply the nature of the world in which we live that... Even if one wished to mourn for an... Just look at this potted plant. Isn't it stunning? It takes an honest and open mind to confront and conquer grief. You have indeed made progress. <laughs> Be that as it may, I shall leave the lantern right stage to the youth Can you today. at least, like, 
transcribe it for us? Well, if you're sure, Granny. <laughs> Whoa, what's everyone doing here? Did something bad happen? Oh, and now we've spooked Yanfei. <laughs> no, no, everyone's just here to give me their regards for the holiday. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad. Well, in that case, happy lantern right, yeah, everyone. Yeah, happy lantern right. Happy lantern right. Oh, I, I just remembered that I have some uh work to do at you are hyper you're bad at lying i will leave mr dvorak in your capable hands cloud retainer ping we will be off for now huh does it have to be right now which case is this again hey gone you <laughs> it seems gone you still has yep. much to learn when it comes to the art of deception what a pity she has learned nothing of one's ability to carry a conversation. Since it's been so long, Cloud Retainer, why don't you stay? How I'll make a cup of tea and we can chat a while. How will the bird drink? Gladly. This was one's intention as well. How does the bird drink tea? When you see the Fontaine musician, please give him my regards. I'd like to wish him the very best with the concert. You got it, man. Thank you all. I think you've listened to enough of my Madam matter. Ping is a nice for lady. As I for like that her. Melody, I will play it for you all another time. Goodness knows She's I just like a nice old first. woman. Wow, like just we'll look I love when you're playing a game and you come across a legitimately nice person. <laughs> no strings attached. When the time comes. Someone you wish was real. Wherever her spirit may be among the countless grains of sand and specks of dust between the harbor and the mountains. Perhaps hmm. she will look at the Leoa of today and steal a smile when she sees the prosperous land that it has become. I don't know why, but the writing is legitimately very beautiful, this whole section. I'd be lying if it's not affecting me a little bit. Yeah. Okay, let's go tell Mr. Dvorak the news. That's like... Oh, it's hitting me. It's hitting me, you know? I think it might be because I did go out for New Year's here and explore the city and see a lot of um, a lot of families doing their own lantern right, if you will, where um, not the Disney's tangled like lanterns in the sky thing, but burning of paper and incense for uh, for families and for history, right and. It was a beautiful thing. It was legitimately very beautiful to see. Just hey, out in the street. Hey, buddy. Ah, and Kuching's here too. Thanks for helping set all of this up. Welcome back. Did everything go well? Really, really well. We found the person Mr. Dvorak was looking for. Uh, are, are you serious? Yeah. You recount the true story of the fairy lady to Kuching and Dvorak. Uh, I see. So the melody my ancestor heard was an adeptus remembering her late friend? That certainly explains why it was such a powerful and poignant tune. Huh. That's a really interesting first reaction. Guess that comes with having a musical mind. I have to say, though, it, it's hard to believe that the fairy from the tale is now an elderly granny. I gotta say, if you told me this guy was a YouTuber and not, like, a professional actor, I wouldn't believe you. Oh. Like, he just sounds like a regular actor, you know? But Streetward Rambler, or Madam Ping as we know her, probably only became old because it's what she wanted for herself. Madam Ping possesses vast knowledge and great wisdom. Whatever physical form she may decide to take, her mind and wits are as sharp as they come. Yep, Kuching summed it up perfectly. That's exactly what Paimon was trying to say. I think... Hmm, yes. I must thank her in person. That can wait until after the concert, though. For now, I need to devote all my emotional energy to the performance. I'm terrified to hear how the rapping is going to go. Ah, speaking of, Madam Ping wishes you all the best at the music festival. Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that she'll stay in her usual spot, but listen to the performances from afar. Wait, are you serious? Huh. Oh, no. Now I'm starting to ah, get I just treat it like okay. any other. Nope. Another rehearsal is in order. Please excuse me, everyone. Before we set off on our search with Ganyu, 
Yes, Isabel, what music means to people. Yeah, we got a lot of different things for music, yeah. Share your insights with me. Uh, well, we found out that music can be used for good, but also for bad. Um, it can make people happy and mood, but it can also be sad and bittersweet. And music is like hmm. a kind of memory written in people's hearts. Yep. It can put you in touch with feelings from a totally different time and place. Yeah, there was there was a lot. <laughs> it sounds like you had an eventful trip. Don't worry, I'm sure Ganyu will fill me in on all the details shortly. Wait, does that mean you're gonna carry on working? Mm-hmm. Just a few things to wrap up. All the groundwork is done. As long as everyone enjoys the festival activities, all our efforts are worthwhile. Hey, happy lantern right. Happy lantern right to you as well. Should be everything taken care of, right? Oh, no, wait. Paimon feels like she's forgetting something. Ugh. What was it? Zhang Li at the tea house? Oh, it's, uh, shoot! Latent. Oh, wait, there we no. go. Anyway, uh, fancy bamboo shoots. Bamboozle soup. Zhang Li said he wasn't in a hurry, so if we went now, there's probably still time, right? Anyway, even if we don't make it, it's not our fault. He could have totally picked him by himself. Ugh. Anyway, let's go check with him at Wang Chung Funeral Parlor. All right. I've not really been there. I mean, I've been there, but I don't know it 100%. So, yeah, I'll need the thing to tell me where to go. Climb this tree. Whoa, that's a weird tree. Okay, let's go like this. God, it was absolutely wild being here like playing this and then going outside to the fireworks and stuff here and just seeing it there's Hu Tao finally we get to see her the one whose cell phone I own I want to hear her dub voice there's a little dance oh boy I'm terrified to hear her rap uh, okay. Uh, very old name in the funerary business. Director is up to the 77th, being a young lady named Hu Tao. Known for a sharper intellect, might be a little too smart. Indeed, the eccentric and quirky is not what people expect from a solemn title like the funeral director. Unique output on life and death. Though she's surrounded by death, her optimism will never change. Quite the odd duck for this one. Oh my god, I'm terrified. All right, let's take a break here. I'm terrified to hear her rap. I'm oh, so wow, scared. Look who it is. Are you here to hang out with everyone's favorite funeral director? That's strong. So you're just casually practicing your rapping skills at the entrance to the funeral parlor? <laughs> In broad daylight? Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> imagine working at a funeral parlor and just starting to rap. <laughs> After everything we've been through... You don't see me for a hot minute, and you're back to being scared of your own shadow. We have all this open space, a clear view of the mountains behind and the sea in front. Not to mention we have several invisible audience members oh, you enthusiastically see ghosts. cheering us on. Okay. It's the perfect spot to rehearse. Oh, you're weird. Invisible audience members? Don't worry about Gotta it. Gotta say, it took me a few days to get used to Director Who's way of talking. <laughs> Shin Yan was pretty spooked too when she first got here. Just like when she sees a frog, but a giant frog with sharp teeth. Come on, knock it off. What's wrong? I've never seen someone look so confused before. Well, don't worry, because Director Who's here to explain it all. <clears throat> there once was a Fontaine musician who went around town on a mission. He came door to door for his iridescence tour, looking for acts to audition. Yes, that is a limerick. With my words, Shin Yan's chorus and Yoon Jin's Oh my god, no. No, please, please don't, please don't tell me you're gonna rap limericks. We'll take the stage by storm with flames roaring and the whole audience calling for more. I'm terrified. Heck yeah. Sure. The whole dance floor will be yelling encore, encore. Oh, now Paimon's rhyming along. Um, I'm but so scared. When you say flames roaring... Are you sure this will be safe? Oh, don't you worry about that. 
I'm pretty experienced on the stage, and I've already informed the Yuhong of all the pyrotechnics we're planning on using. Huh. Guess we'll just have to trust Chinyan on this one. Have you uh, seen Zhongli? Oh, Zhongli. He took one of those fancy meal boxes and set off for the mountains. Said he wanted to pay a visit to some old friends. Your nose just warped. It's a real pity that he couldn't be around for this. As well as being a true no, wait, may maybe of he's uh forms, he's able to maybe he's got the right idea performances too you know yeah that's right maybe maybe, maybe he's got the right idea fact, he was the one who first invited me to perform here to tell the truth though I never thought I'd really find myself rehearsing here one day <laughs> well now you know the Wangsheng funeral parlor is a great location all of you are always welcome to come and hang out here especially Especially if you're in the mood to try something new. You're so weird. I can speak to that. Hu Tao is always full of fun surprises. And jump scares. You don't know what those are. Video games don't exist. Actually, Xinyan, I have some lyric ideas for your part. Do you want to go through them together? Sure thing. I'm all ears. Oh, Traveler in Paimon. I believe Zhongli was heading to Mount Hulao, so make sure you're hiking up the right hill. When you see Zhongli, Please pass on this message to him. It's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight. But I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. You should join us too. It'll be a riot. If there's one thing I've learned from being a funeral director, it's how to throw a party. That's a ter terrible sentence, but okay. Okay, fine. Um. Oh, she's weird. Oh, she's strange. I am, again... She's definitely on my summon list, if only, again, just because of the fact that I have her singing on my cell phone. And, like, like the, she's my lock screen. When I lock my phone, I get to see her doing a little thing. Although she doesn't have her jacket on, and she looks better with, like, the red arms and the fedora. Like, it looks, it looks better. But, um, yeah. And I have her staff, too. Physically, like a little physical model of her staff that came with the, the cell phone. It's cute. Nope. Maybe one day I'll uh, also get that. Hello, is that... Is that chubby? Uh, too slow. Okay, hi guys. What's going on here? Paimon sees them! It's Illuminated Deer! And Illuminated Bird number two! Please stop calling them that. Hmm. A familiar face. Have you come from Liyue Harbor? How is the city nowadays? Everything's great! But you know, if you're so curious, you can always go and check it out for yourself! In fact, Moon Carver has been taking many walks on Mount Tianhang in recent times. I believe the sights of the city are quite familiar to him. Zhongli! Here you are! We've brought the bamboo shoots you wanted! Impeccable timing. We've kept them in our pockets for two days. Puts a nascent bamboo shoots the cooking mechanism next to moon cover and moon shape are used Traditionally, with things. Traditionally, bamboo shoot soup ought to be slow cooked for many hours on low heat. Using Adeptus Arts to hasten the process is That's something fine. of a shortcut. Food is life. Wait, that mechanism, is that? Indeed. Cloud Retainer kindly lent me her supreme cuisine machine. Can we not just call it a cooking machine? Ugh, actually, Again, never mind. Probably stuff from other events. She seems to take a lot of pride in her mechanical gizmos, so it's probably best if Paimon doesn't go changing the name willy-nilly. I trust that you found the answers you were seeking during your recent journey? Yep. Excellent. The past should be remembered, but not overly dwelt upon. Our journey should be seen as a means to take on more from the world around us. When the bamboo shoot soup is ready, I must insist that you try some for yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, Zhongli! Hu Tao told us oh, right, yeah. something. Big important news. She said, it's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. When she says performance, she must mean the Lantern Rite Music Festival. As for the banquet, uh... She didn't tell us anything more about that, but she invited us to come as well. As you can see... I have a prior engagement with two Adepti friends of mine tonight. He made the perfect yes. excuse to not listen to her rap. My best wishes for the performance. As for the banquet, hmm, since the director insists, 
Far be it from a mere consultant like myself to refuse. Yay! Then we'll see you there? Absolutely. Rex Lapis, the bamboo shoot suit. Is wow, that was fast. Thank you. I will examine it right away. Hmm. The appearance is exquisite, and the aroma rich and intense. But since you came all this way, you should not leave empty handed. Let's see. Please, take some soup. It tastes most exquisite while still warm. We actually get some. Hey, we get some. Nice. Had one known that Cloud Retainer was in possession of such eminently useful devices, one would have. And yet, since you share my lack of enthusiasm for mechanisms and fine dining, it would have. <laughs> Not so. Had one had such a device to make up for one's lack of culinary prowess, Chenha would not have had to rely on flowers and herbs alone for sustenance while under one's care. Hmm. In that case, shall we rendezvous with Cloud Retainer one day soon and request a They have their own little friend circle. A fine idea. That's kind of nice. I intend to reminisce with my Hmm. That's kind of nice. I actually really like the relationship and friend circles here, you know? It's just genuinely a nice thing to to, to see and I think that's kind of the thing that I'm getting for this whole event is it's just like just genuinely nice stuff you know please ignore the hutao noise that you just heard so where's the soup that we got where is it here is it a key item or is it just a is it a food or is it just gonna be just called like bamboo soup that we can get when whatever let's see here We've made their crazy temptation. Jewelry soup. I didn't even see if it was there. That's fine. Oh, wait. Yeah. Bamboo. Oh, yeah. We've already got a bunch. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's Zhongli's specialty. Okay. Nice. So. Head on back. To the city. What, 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 what did, what did I get hooed over? Someone sent me a message on the dating app. Cute. Cute. Nice. What did they say to me? Is it going to be embarrassing? Is it going to be like... Oh, Tanner, you're so hot. You should come date me right now because I'm also so hot. She says... Uh-huh. Alright, that's it. Oh no, here it is. Oh god, it's happening. I'm honored to be here on the Iridescence Tour stage. All right, without further ado, I'm Shinyan. This is Hutao, and this is a little... Oh, she's so bouncy. Oh, no. The bling lily! Oh, no. I've only heard bad things I've not actually seen. That's okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was... That wasn't even comedically bad. That was just plain weak. Which I hear is... Also true in Chinese and Japanese. I've heard it's bad in every language. <laughs> Look at all these characters. Oh, yeah, that's your idea of a celebration, huh, bud? Oh, God, not more of them. Oh, they're everywhere. And of course, when this is happening on screen, there's absolutely no firework noises outside for me.
May the year ahead be a blessed one. I believe it shall be. Master, the Shao Lanterns, I... Ha! Elementary! One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern, the likes of which the world has never seen. And you must take it to Liu Wei Harbor to display its magnificence. You better go quickly. She's playing. <sighs> Way to ruin the mood, Hu Tao. Was a really good cutscene. Wow, that was really, really, really nice. Ah, wow, I just got hit with huge emotions from that. That was really, really good. Aside from the rap, oh my god, was it was it really bad? <laughs> I can't believe that's I it's almost hilarious how bad it was like like I'm I am laughing at it I am hey the characters are all here okay now I need to get a move on and write my next song <laughs> listen to you you only just fulfilled one lifetime dream are you really thinking about your next goal already don't try to tell me you ain't the same way I bet you've already thought up a name for your next opera haven't you <laughs> You know me too well, Xinyan. The Adeptus Seeking Voyage. Oh. How does that sound? Yeah, can we get uh, royalties? Oh, oh, man! Yeah, I can already picture it. I've also got just the finishing line for it. I'll close with, And the celestial melody echoed through the clouds forevermore. I don't love uh, Yun Jin's design too much. I think it's oh, fine. Me. But I don't, I don't love it. I think it's 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 an okay one. I think it's just confusing to be both. How do you feel? I didn't know that you like music so much. I'm glad I invited you here. Where where's Vlad? Where? What? There's only one of them. What? That's confusing. Okay. Um What was I saying? I feel like her design should have been, if she had that design, that should have been from, like, Mondstadt. I feel like going with the the two of them together was a bit much. Okay. Um, so I guess that's that for that, then. This went, su again, surprisingly longer than I thought. There was just way more to it than I would have expected. And is there more still? Is there going to be a straight up... It's said to be continued. If there's more tomorrow, that's kind of crazy. I mean, I guess it makes sense that the lantern right would just keep going because, you know, the idea of it being a one-day thing isn't real here. <laughs> it just keeps happening. Um, I'm going to go to... I'm going to go and just do this quickly before I forget. Not you. I'll do you after. I'm talking about going to the... Uh, down here. I'll talk to you after, don't worry. No, where are you? Nope, we went the wrong way. The wind rises. Go in here, yes. Search for you have something for me. What's going on? There we go. Not enough to get new stuff, but that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Uh cool. Well, in that case, um, thank you all for watching. Uh we'll continue on with this. 
I'm going to definitely ask if there's going to be more story quests. If there is, I'll do more story of this on screen. Uh, if it's just doing the mini games from this point, um, I don't think I will. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, otherwise, yeah, thank you all for watching. And we will see you next time for some more Let's Play Genshin Impact. I didn't think I'd do a full video like this, but I did, I did. So we'll see you next time for some more, guys. Ciao.